they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear them. What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Lauren K. We here at Talk of the Town, and who is in the town today? It's the girl, Reeve Lynn, Mrs. Bad Bitches. Period. That's Captain of the Bad Bitches right there. Period. So, I want to get to know you just a little bit, so we're going to start yeah. off with a rapid-fire questions, okay? okay? All right. Where you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York, Marcy. What's your favorite ad-lib? Like what? What's your sign? <laughs> I'm a Sag. What's the ugliest hairstyle, on a boy or a girl? Um... A mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Jay Z song? Niggas in Paris. Favorite TikTok sound? Favorite TikTok sound? Mm -hmm. um, right now is You Like My Voice. It's Turn You On. This ain't no way till you see it in a thong. <laughs> oh, period. <laughs> How many siblings do you have? I have four. What's a social media ick you have? A social media ick? When people, I don't know, be commenting on my shit, like, with soul. I don't like that. <laughs> with what? With soul. Like, salty vibes and shit. I don't like that, because then I be clapping back. Yeah, the haters. there be a whole argument in the comments. <laughs> oh, you answer comments? Sometimes, like, because, you know, it be them comments that just hit a nerve. Yeah. Girl, so I be having yeah. to... Yeah. Out of everybody here talking to town, I'd be the one in the comments like, yeah, well, because no, it's because like, all right, you're yeah. not about to come on this page and play with me. No, these respectfully. Comments, like, I ain't a regular human bitch. Respectfully. Uh, what is one of your comfort TV shows? Martin. Act your favorite emoji out. Show us what your favorite emoji is. <laughs> <laughs> the tongue. <laughs> okay, what's a name you hate? Um, a name that I hate? Like, mm hmm um, I don't really like mamas like that. Mamas? Yeah, I don't okay. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not your mama. Mm, you like that better than, well, you like stink better than mamas? I think stink is a little. I like, like, baby girl. Mm, okay. Like that, yeah. Okay, so that's your favorite one? Yeah. Okay, got it. it. What's your biggest pet peeve? Um, I don't like for people to just grab my phone. Mm. So. Okay. And the last one, give us an unpopular opinion. About anything. Um, bobs are actually cute as fuck and stop shading the girl with bobs. Because I have a bob. Period. All right, so I want to start from the very, very beginning and okay. then I want to make it to where we are right now. Captain of the bad bitches. Hey. So who did you listen to growing up and what was life like before the music? Um, I really listened to like, I always listened to like rap. Okay. Because I grew up with my uncles, my cousins, and mm -hmm. old guys. Then I had my mom, my grandmother, but they wasn't really like playing music like that. They played like old school music. Okay. So I was really on the more of the rap side, like Jay Z, Beanie Siegel, Lil Ooh. Wayne, um, like Bleak, mm. uh, like stuff like that. But I grew up a little bit. We moved. Me and my mom moved, and that's when where did y'all move in. from? We moved from Marcy. Okay. So we moved from Marcy, we went to East New York. Okay. And that's when I tapped into like R and B a little bit more because I was with mom and shit right. like that. So she playing like Alicia Keys, Keisha Cole. Okay. Like Foxy, stuff like that. So I was really on but I feel like I was more of a hip hop girl. Okay. Like the rural hip hop. Got it. So now I know you said you've always been into music, like not that you necessarily always made it, but you've yeah. like always been interested by yeah. it. So what other interests did you have outside of that? Outside of music? Mm -hmm. Um, I like fashion. I was like, I I kind of wanted to be a model. I still do want to tap into I like see modeling. That for you. Yeah, when I was younger, I had my mother take me to an agency and all that. But I wanted to like be into modeling and stuff like that. Okay. That was really it. Okay, so what made you, I know you had a job right before mm. you, you blew up. Yeah. So what made you decide, I'm going to do music and music is, uh, like, it's safe enough for me to quit my job? You saying, like, when did I get to that point? Or? When and what made you get to that point? Um, I feel like if I'm going to be in, I might as well just be all in, you know, and, Got like, it. really stop playing with it and take this shit serious. Right. And I was, I feel like I was um, making enough with it, you know, so. Right. This is good. That's so, cool. at this point, do you feel like this is your lifelong career? You feel like yeah. this is what you're saying? Yeah. Love that. Because I've been, like, I've really been doing it all my life, like, just just because. Just to right. do it. And now I'm doing it. Um, 
making a profit off of it. Right. It's actually something I love doing, so why not? So how long have you been in the studio actually making music? So my first time, my first time like in going consistently with it mm -hmm. was like, well, it wasn't my first time, but being consistent with it. Okay. It was last year, probably like February, March. I started going like every other day, every day I was in it. Right. But, and I feel like it was because I was going through something. So it was like, I was going through things like within myself. Mm -hmm. So it was like just something to get away, you know, spend time with myself. It expressed my feelings through music, and right. it just it just kept me going. I kept going with it, and it turned out to be working in my favor. Period. Now I know we didn't hear a lot of the other stuff mm -hmm. because "Bad Bitches" was the first song you put out. So now, one thing I really identified with when I was doing research was that you said up until then your mom didn't even hear your music, yeah. and I still don't let my mother watch my interviews because it's just it's kind of cringe to me. It's just like I don't want you to see what I'm doing. Like I don't want you to know yeah. what I'm doing. So. How did you get to the point, and I'm certain a lot of other content creators relate to that too. Mm. How did you even get to a point where you're like, all right, like I'm gonna put it out. Like, how did you get that confidence? So it was like, all right, so this is when I was like about to drop the song. Like mm -hmm. this is when I was contemplating on dropping it. Like, okay, I'm about to drop this song. Okay. My best friend already convinced me to do it. So I'm about to do it. So I told my mom, I'm like, I got this song. I'm about to shoot a video for it. And I think, if it go good, I'm gonna take it serious. Like, right. So she trusted that. We both trusted that, and it worked out in my favor. And she's just been supportive ever since. I love that. Mom is in the building too. Definitely Period. a Shout out to Mama Love. I love, I she love stay, that. She's staying on the side of me. Period. Period. <laughs> so now, is your best friend the reason that you decided to drop Bad Bitches, or did you drop Bad Bitches because you felt like I got one? She she's part of the reason. I okay. needed like. I needed somebody to tell me, like, do it. Because no, me it. knowing myself, I be talking myself out of... I be talking myself out of shit. Like, right. I'm my biggest critic. And I probably would have been like, nah, girl, you bugging. You know you too shy for that shit. So it's like, I don't be trying to... Well, I used to not try to exploit myself to, the, like, to right. everybody, to the world and shit. So I'm glad she convinced me to do it. Period. Shout out to Bestie. Shout out to Bestie because, Period. girl... We all appreciate you, okay? Yeah. So now define bad bitch. What is a bad bitch? Okay. I feel like a bad bitch is somebody that, of course you look good and shit, but you got to be a good person. You can't be a bad bitch and a mean girl. Like, that's just, that just make you ugly. Okay. So you got to be, you know, look good. Keep yourself, you know, keep yourself looking good. Stand your ground. Be a boss. Get your own. And, like, take care of the people you love, you know, be right. a good person. Shit like Period. That, so. so, bad bitch is not just physical. No, it's not. I be having an argument with men. They be telling me, like, I be like, I say, I feel like, because beauty is so subjective. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, you may think somebody's pretty. Somebody right. else may think they ugly. Mm -hmm. But, like, bad bitch is like an aura. Like, you, it is. You feel like it. Like, you, you have bad bitch energy. Like yeah. Bad bitch energy is real. Period. Now, we know Bad Bitches is the one that blew up and got everybody's attention. So, are you signed now? Yes. I'm signed Ooh. 300, partnered Period. with 100K Tracks. That's that so on I'm that. Saying, yes. Now, I know because the song was so big, I could imagine there was labels ringing that line left yes. and right. So, yes. what made you go with them? It just felt right. You know, they was talking that talk. You know, it felt right. And we gravitated... We just gravitated. It felt like the right thing to do. So Got it. Now, I always hear about this team in every interview, how you have such yes. a solid team. Is mom on the team? Yes, of course. It would be no team without she. All right now. And what is mom? Mom is the manager. The mom momager. is the momager. Yes. Got the it. Momager. So has that uh, affected y'all's relationship at all? No. Wow. I mean, sometimes, we, you know, we have our disagreements, but yeah. it's, it's nothing to talk. We can't talk it out about. I love that. Yeah, that's my best friend. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So now, does being signed add any pressure to you at all? Or has this experience felt more like an assist? It's pretty much both. Like, you know, it's, okay. it's, it's, uh, um, it helps you. Right. But you got to you gotta work. You got to work. Absolutely. You know, it's, just, it's, got, it's something you got to want for yourself. Right. You got to work harder than others because it's your career. You right. Know? So it's a 50-50 with me. Okay, so now I know bad bitches popped off organically. So, what at what point did the label start calling you? Hmm, probably like at the end of the year, November, December. Okay. Around those times, January. Okay. And then I think I got signed probably like 
don't know. Probably like February, March. So early this year? Yeah, right, Mom? Like, I got signed, like, February, March. March. And yeah. around when would you say bad bitches really, like, blew up? Probably, like, by, no, by December. December. Once, once the, like, year was over, that okay. was late, yeah. So, bad bitches pops off in December. You signed early 2023. Mm-hmm. And now, here we are in July. So, we just made it to the middle of the year. Yep. I know you said everything is happening so fast. So, how are you coping with that? Like, what are you doing to really take all of that in? Um, majority of time, you know, when I, I, sometimes I don't even really have a lot of time to be doing other stuff, you know. So, I try mm-hmm. to stay with my family, you know, have my me time, stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I just do the things I like to do, go out here and there, you know, free my mind from, like, music. Because that's, it's within me already. Like, that's yeah. something I've been doing before all the, you know, getting lit and shit before all the cop. Right. But, you know, I try to stay in my head and, you know, keep cool, keep calm. So what are some challenges that you faced since blowing up so fast? I feel like just getting comfortable, like, letting everybody get to know me and shit. Okay. Opening up to people. Okay. Cause I'm shy, like, well, I'm I'm slowly unraveling, but okay. I was shy, like, last year I couldn't have seen, seen myself doing this, got like, it, doing shit like this. So I will say one thing about you. So when I heard the song, I heard the song on TikTok, mm-hmm. and I saw it with the dance first. You saw the the boys dance yeah. to it, fire. So yeah. I'm like, what is this song? <laughs> like I'm feeling this. Cause they ate so, that up. Shout out to Tyreek Bowman. Eight, period. Damn. So I hear the song, and one thing about me, I'm super obsessive. So mm-hmm. once I like one thing, I gotta go down the rabbit hole. I gotta find out everything about yeah, you. I gotta, me. yeah, I gotta get into that's it. That's me. So I went and I looked, and I'm like, wait, is this like the one? Like this is this is this is the one? And to see you at that point, and now see like the Bad Bitch Remix video is one of my favorite videos that dropped all year. Period. I love that video. Period. Me too. Like the aesthetics, the girls. Yes. Everything. It was just a whole vibe. The girls was mad lit. Mm-hmm. Everybody was so pretty, and it was just mad vibey. It was genuine. Definitely like, the whole time. And my favorite thing about the video is your growth. Cause I feel like if you watch you in the like the original Bad yes, Bitches video, I be saying that all the and time, then this like, one, you just look so and now that I watch like the a video, star, like I watched the original one, star. and I be cringing like, why did I do that? Like, why would I do that? So you watch your own stuff? Yeah. Okay, you listen to yourself too. But I be cringing like, really? Uh, I have to like, all right, I let it be out for a couple of days, and then mm-hmm. I like go watch it. Okay. Oh my god. Do you put yourself like? Do you regularly listen to yourself? Like, I want to hear that new breezy yeah. limb. Yeah. Period. I know that must feel like bad bitch to rap to because your own I really self. like I really make music like and I really be talking like like I be talking shit my shit. Yeah, like, I'm not saying nothing just to say it. Or, sometimes, but like majority of the time, I'm really talking my shit. I think when I heard bad bitches. It was like, okay, this song is fire, but what else? Mm-hmm. But then when I saw, like, your freestyles, I was like, oh, like, yeah, she I actually like, talks. Like, she has something to say. I feel like everybody was, was feeling like that. Like, I was getting a lot of that. Oh, what's she going to do after that? Or, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, a, I'm really, I really rap. Like. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Let them know. Period. Period. So, do you feel pressure? Because I know your second single just came out, but we're going to get to that. So, did you feel pressure because Bad Bitches was so big and that was your first song? Well, I first would, song you put out. At times, I would get in my head, like, I'd be worried about what people want to want hear next. Like, I don't know. Okay. I don't know how to explain it, but it's. I was a little bit like, all right, I got to do something to back this up because mm-hmm. I can't just be, you know? All right. But... I'm not really worried about it no more. I really got mad stuff in the tuck, you know, that I know that people's going to like, so. Period. Now, before we leave Bad Bitches, because I want to, this is like our Bad Bitches chapter. If it had the subtitle, this would be Bad, bad bitches, bitches Chapter, chapter 1, period. So, now, we talked a little bit about the remix video. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the remix. Why Callie and Lola Brooke, and how did that happen? Um. Okay, so they were showing love on, like, TikTok and their stories, okay. like, before the collab and stuff like that. And then um, our team's connected, saying that, you know, they want to be on a remix. We look for girls to be on a remix. And right. I was like, okay, why not put Lola on a um, remix? She's doing her big one right now. She's right. from 
Brooklyn. She she's stop she's yet. like up the block, up the block from me. And Callie, she's just another baddie, you know, up and coming doing her yeah. thing. So I'm like, yeah, that's a good, that's a good look for all of us, you know. Mm-hmm. And when we linked up, it was genuine vibes. Like everybody, it was just mad genuine. The girls, they show mad love. Shout out to them. It looks like it. When yeah. I watched the vlog, it just looked like yeah. everybody was just happy to be there and happy to be involved. Yes, I know I was. Yeah. Now, another thing I did notice with that vlog is that every scene I saw you like behind somebody's shoulder looking at the screen mm-hmm. and looking and just watching. So how much involvement do you have on the back end of your career? Um, A lot. It's a lot of say so. I like to, uh, I don't know how to say it. I like to I like to have options. So okay. if you give me options on the table, I'm not gonna be oh I want it this way or okay. I, I could we could work like I could work with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a stuck up thing person to work with. I'm right. really sweet, you know. So I feel like I'm 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 cool to work with and stuff like that. I'm not too bossy. Okay, but you know I be I be letting everybody be creative. I like to see ideas and shit like that. So. Got it. So we're gonna play a little game. Mm-hmm. This game is called WWBBD. You know what that stands for? WWBBD. Yeah. What do you think it stands for? I don't know. WW. I don't know. <laughs> what would bad bitches do? Oh, ooh, I like that. All right. So I'm gonna give you some scenarios, and you're gonna let me know what bad bitches would do. Okay. okay let's go. So the first one: you laid up with your man. Mm-hmm. His phone is on the charger on your side of the bed. It rings. So you pass it to him. When you pass it to him, it's a girl name with a heart and a lock. What would bad bitches do? Okay, I'm going to let him answer that phone. I'm going to listen to the conversation. So you're going to pass him the phone? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to let you set yourself up. Because I'm, I'm going to punch you in your face right after. <laughs> like, if it's, if it's not the conversation. First of all, why she got a lock and a key and all that? What it's that really about? the lock. It's like, the lock. The heart could damn, be I'm a sister. To sound the mature. lock. But I like I might turn, <laughs> I might turn. Cause oh, that's sad. Especially come out real if, quick. I, if I don't know, like, who is this girl? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna turn. But here's my thing. Now, if you pass him the phone, what if he just declined the call? I'm still turn. <laughs> Cause who is this girl and why she got a lock? <laughs> Actually, I want to see what the fuck my um, contact name is. Ooh, I better have. Key. I better have five hearts. I better have <laughs> the world, the globe. I better have all of that. But yeah, I'm gonna still turn regardless. So what? That's T. You taking him back? Like you? Are you willing to hear his explanation, or it's like <laughs> it's done? I don't know. Mm. Depending on the relationship. Yeah, it depends how much mm, you know. Okay, got if it. I like you. You get you know you get like two chances. Mm. No, nah, I don't know. I'll, I'll don't say that on camera. You gotta have the second chance in the back of your mind. Yeah. Don't don't let them know that on camera. These men is already wild. I'm gonna turn regardless. I like you or not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's up. The the lock is crazy. Yeah. Okay, so the next one. So you outside and a nigga comes over. He invites y'all to the section. Y'all go in the section and your friends start being funny. Your friends start, you know, oh girl, remember that time your frontal was pushed back? <laughs> <laughs> like she started pulling one of those. Ooh. What would bad bitches do? I'ma turn on her. <laughs> Cause like why you acting funny? Like it's not that serious. <laughs> Yeah, we we probably end up arguing. In the club? Like, like you doing that in the section? Yeah, because, bitch, why is you trying to play me in front of all these niggas? Now, if I tell such, 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 mm. you're going to be, you know? Okay, so are you just turning up on her or you exposing her, too? No, nah, I'm just turning up on her because, bitch, you're playing yourself. Period. I like that. Period. All right, so the next one. One of the hottest rappers in the game pulls up to the studio and they want to do a collab with you. Mm-hmm. So when you get to the studio, they like, okay... I want you in a song, but I already wrote your verse. Like, I don't want you to write nothing. Like, I already wrote your verse. Just go in there and spit it. <clears throat> what would bad bitches do? Um, I write my own stuff, so I'm not. I'm gonna be like, I got something already, so I don't need your verse. Mm. So okay, so would it be like a thing where like you look at it or you like because okay, my thing is. It's a little bit of a risk, because what if you piss this person off now, and now they feel like... I would ah. look at it. I'd skim through it, but for me, I'm just looking at it, you know, not to, like... As an artist. Be on some stink shit, yeah. Right. Okay, But I don't... I, I prefer not to use it. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. All right, so next one. You're driving mm-hmm. down the street, driving, 
and you see a man coming up to you. You know how Brooklyn be. You know how the city be. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they could be homeless. They could be trying to talk to you. You mm-hmm. just never know. So you don't know this man, Bob. So he comes up to your window. <laughs> your window is down. He comes up to your window, and he's just, you figure out that he's a homeless man. Mm-hmm. He asks you for, for money. Mm-hmm. You tell him you don't got nothing. He's taken, and then he takes the spliff that he has in his hand and throws it in your car because you dubbed him. Most likely, I'm going to have, like, a Bev in my car. I'm going to throw that shit on him. <laughs> you going to throw the Bev and keep driving? Yeah, and we even. Okay. That's yeah. actually a really simple resolve. Yeah. I think even. I would be stuck. No, I'm not going to be stuck because I expect a crackhead in Brooklyn to do some shit like that. <laughs> so I'm not going to be stuck, but I'm going to get my lick back. Okay. All right, babe. Two more scenarios. Ready? Mm-hmm. So next one, this is a classic girl scenario. Okay. So you go to the, the nail salon, local nail salon, to get your toes done. And you've been waiting there for seven minutes so far. Mm-hmm. You next. Somebody comes, and they, she, she look like she about to get in your chair. And she do. Oh, bitch, I'm next. So you telling her or you telling I'm telling the nail, nail lady. tech and I'm telling the lady. I'm next. I was here first. Period. Thank you. Period. That's that on that. And the last one, you go to an Usher concert with your girls. Mm-hmm. You sitting in that seat. <laughs> <laughs> you know that seat I'm talking about. You sitting in that seat. You got a man at home. Mm-hmm. Usher come up to you. You hear there goes my baby playing in the background. You vibing. There goes my baby. No. I'm, Period. I'm, I'm you gonna vibing. dance with Usher. I'm vibing with Usher. You got a man in the, at home though. Okay, it's just the concert. Okay, you giving? It's not like I'm taking Usher home. You giving Kiki Palmer? Like you like? You I might into shit, it. I might do a little benzo, but no. Oh, oh. <laughs> but you got it. You got it back. Though, you know, I'm just engaging. I'm not trying to be sitting here like, you know, have fun. You I agree. So I'm tight. Have fun. Like you went there for a reason. Like, cause if who, who, who? Beyonce, Rihanna. Yeah, if one of them come, be like, oh, come on stage. Let me give you a little lap dance. Yeah. You're getting up. Yeah, you're getting up. I used up. to love it. it if my if Beyonce told my man come on this stage and he was like nah I'm with Shorty, are you I w- dumb? I would jack it. I would I like, would allow go ahead. Nigga, right, have some fun. Get your panties out. Period. Brunch. Period. Now, does this scenario change if you go to the concert with your man? Well, it depends. Cause if if my man like gangster enough, he gonna give me that look like don't even play it. <laughs> I'm going to be like, y'all seen the one with Sweetie? No, I didn't see Sweetie yet. I saw Winnie and I saw Kiki. I didn't see Sweetie yeah, yet. Gotta see the one. I'm going to be on my Sweetie shit. Sweetie was there. He was like, can I sing to you, Sweetie? She was standing there. She was like, yup. And he did not touch her. She gave him that look. Period. And that's it. I definitely think there's a respectful way to decline. Did you yes. see Winnie's? No. Winnie, like... I think she was sitting on her, her man. Yeah, he came over there and he it. extended her arm and then she, like, got up and hopped in his lap. I felt like that was a bit much. Wait, she hopped in Usher's lap? No, no, no. She hopped in her man's lap. Oh, yeah. yeah but it was yeah. just like, like, this is his show. Because it's like, like, this is... Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, just go have fun. It's be cute about lifetime it. It's a lifetime thing. Yeah. Know? I mean, if you, if, you go, if you plan on going another time, but, you know, <laughs> like... For me, it would be a once in a lifetime thing, you know. I just, exactly. Yeah. You like Usher? I mean, yeah. I grew up listening to Usher, so. Okay, and I know you said you are partially into R&B. Mm-hmm. So, what R&B you be listening to? Um, SZA, Summer Walker, Ooh. Bryson Tiller, her. Um, who else? Vic- Victoria Monet. Monet. Yeah, Ooh. her. Yeah, she's talented. <clears throat> um. Who else? Who else? Who else? Damn, I would have to go to my um my mu- my Apple Music list, but yes, I be listening to a lot of artists, like okay, a lot, like a lot of genres. So, what's one artist that we would be surprised to hear that you listen to? Um, I don't know if y'all know her. Her name is Banks. Mm mm. I don't know who that is. Yeah, she. I I think she. I don't know where she from. But what type of music she make? I don't know how to. I don't want to say what I was. What I'm going like. I, what I want to say, but. Because it might not be, you know. But okay. it's not like, not you know, PC. It's not hip hop. It's not it's not really R and B. Who does she sound similar to? If you could do that, maybe. I don't know. Interesting. All right. Well, we got to look up Bank Show. Yeah. If y'all don't know, because I don't know either. We Breezy just put. <clears> you ever heard that song, um, "Brain" by Banks? Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, I gotta tap in. Okay. When, when y'all hear it, y'all gonna be like, "She doesn't say it." 
Okay, we it's, gotta it's we gotta like, tap in, y'all. It's real like I feel like she's empower empowering to women. Okay. Like the album that I listened to when I first heard her, she's like real she's talking for the girls. So okay, period. Like All right. Now one R and B song real popping, one wish. Ray J, yes. you just sampled it, made it even more popping. Like, yeah, shout out to Two Red, shout out to Ray J. Yes, so yeah. tell us, how did Keep Wishing happen? Okay, so I had the song like probably a little bit after I wrote Babbage's. Mm. Um, I went to the stool, it was a whole, it was like a, another version to the to the One Wish beat. Okay, so it wasn't the original, the version that I have now. And when I got to the beat, the producer, the producers, was telling me like, "Yo, let me um, let me like, start you a new beat." So I'm like, "All right." At first, I was like, I was a little skeptical about it, but I'm like, "All right, fuck it, go ahead." And then it came out, came out good. From when I first wrote it, I knew like this is something too real has mm. to get on. Okay. This is something too real would get on. So from when I first made it, I, I knew who I wanted on the track. Okay. And I kept, I just kept saying that, like, I need to real on this track. Right. Tracks um, finally, you know, got us connected. There we is. spoke about it. And he sent his verse in. And we had it for a little minute. And then we finally got to work in. My Bad Bitches release party, I got to speak to um, Ray J on FaceTime. Oh. Yes, he told what? me, like, he's super excited for this release. And yeah, that's how he reposted the um, like he basically promoted it too. Okay. So yeah, that's how that came about, and then everybody's just real, real supportive of it. Like, now I know in like your verses you reference One Wish, but you said it was to a different song. So was there like a little bit of a just in there, or like did it just did it the was, universe happen to work a, out like it that? It was a One Wish Jersey kind of beat, just not that one. Yeah, got it. Okay. Yeah, okay. so it was like. Less drums. It was like more simpler. Okay. And they just turned it up. Like they turned the the one wish version up. So. Okay. Would you label yourself a perfectionist? Yeah. Kinda. Because you said this one had a couple versions, and then I heard you say Bad Bitches also had a couple versions before no, you. No, Bad Bitch. To... Bad Bitches had one version of the beat. Okay. But like I kept recording it because I wanted it to sound a certain way. Got it. So. I mean, yeah, I guess you could say I'm a perfectionist because I, I'm the type, if I record something, I listen to it for a minute. Mm-hmm. If I feel like I want to change something, I'm going to go back and change it. Okay. So. I definitely think that whatever you was trying to deliver on Bad Bitches came across. Because I, I have it written down here. I just don't know how to phrase it sounding professional. Mm-hmm. Like, I just don't know why you would get on that song and say, like, what? Like, like, what? like damn, like what? Ma- like, why? It's just so that's simple. Really how but I it's talk. like, damn. That's and that's really how I talk. Wow, I love that. Like, for I'll you. be in the middle of a conversation, like what? <laughs> like, damn, like, and I'll be like, I say damn a lot, like, damn, damn. Like, you I sounded just, just like your song in conversation is mad funny. Really? That's mad. funny. I wish people would um, understand that. That this is really how I sound in real life. Like, I love the voice. I think it sets you apart. Like, it makes you. It, it's. It's very calming, yeah. and it's just, it matches your aura. Like, you have this, like, I'm a bad bitch, and I know I'm a bad bitch, but, like, I don't really got to do too much because y'all know I'm a bad bitch too type of vibe, and it gives. That's what I give? Yes, it oh, gives. I like that for me. I love that for you. Now, there are a couple songs you have that mm. aren't on streaming platforms, like mm. Moving Different, which is hard. So, is there a specific reason? Um, so moving different, it was something I just shot in Miami. I recorded in Miami the next day. I just shot it just because I didn't really like think it through. I just posted it. Okay. It's on, um, I think it's on SoundCloud. It's probably on SoundCloud and it's on YouTube. It was just something to post, like more content. Okay. The girls need that on Apple Music. It's me. I'm the girls. Okay. 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 I got the girls. Um, and that's another thing too. Ryder. I have Ryder on it, but you know, sample complications and shit like that right but yeah the girls was dragging me for taking ride off apple music it was tough yeah it was tough it was definitely <laughs> tough so now give me three words to describe your sound i say realistic but sexy and like just just a vibe like definitely vibey 
Now, I know this whole AI thing is, like, super big. You know, everybody, you could steal practically anybody's sound. Yeah. So, as an artist, are you worried about AI at all? No. Why not? Because it's, like, I don't know. It's not really, like, something that's, that be on the back of my mind. I'm not really worried about it. Okay. If anything, like, I could confirm, like, what's what, you know? Right. So, I'm not really sure about it. Got it. Now, when can we expect an EP? Hmm. Hmm. Because the girls no. need a full project. Um, I'm thinking like the end of the summer, the beginning of full. Okay. Now, one project we are about to get mm -hmm. featuring Breezy Lynn. You are on King Vaughn's grandson. Yeah. Period. Well, when this comes out, it'll be out. I know that's right. So, tell us how that happened. Okay. So, being that... Um, 100k tracks he used to manage king vaughn mm -hmm. um we was in the studio one day he played me the unreleased and they needed a woman's perspective on it mm. and i laid my track my um verse down to like 15 seconds i mean 15 seconds i'm bugging i'm like 15 damn <laughs> 15 minutes <laughs> and it was crazy because like i i listened to Vaughn. Like, yeah so it was like all right it didn't i don't think it hit me right then and there Okay. But like as it goes by and we talking about, you know, we actually working and right. we getting it, his album, they getting his album together and stuff and they right. calling me like, yo, I need this and this. And it's like, oh, oh shit. Okay. This is for real. I'm really about to be on um, Vaughn's album featuring Tink. Yes. And Tink, you know, if you know, you know. The girls. Tink is that. Tink She's is her. that girl. Yeah. Period. For real. So it was like, I'm, I'm just. I'm taking it all in. I can't wait to cry and Aww. hear it when it's released. But yes, I'm I'm so excited. I love that for you. I'm so happy for you. you. Now, who are some other people that you would love to collab with? Give us three. Three. Mm. Summer Walker. Oh, I could hear that. Y'all two together. I be, I be singing and stuff. Like I ain't singing. Like, are we gonna get that on a project? I hope so. Ooh. Summer Walker, um, Ice Spikes, mm, who else? And Meek. I knew you was going to say Because that's my name, my name. <laughs> nah, but Meek, for sure. Okay. Like some love, you know, a little love vibe. Do you watch um, Baddies? Yeah. Do, I just think that a collab with you, and not too much me, but I really think that you and Stunner Girl would do it for me. Stunner Girls. I love Stunner Girl. I love Stunner Girl. Is it Stunner? Stunner Girl. Hmm? Is it Stunner? Stunner Girl. It's, Stunna it's two Girl. of them. Right? Okay. Stunna yeah, Girl. I just... It's the two unique voices and the vibe that I just feel like would really just <laughs> no, do it I love Stunner Girl. Her, um, her voice... Yeah, her voice is so unique. Like, yes. it's so cute, though. Like, it's mad cute. No, for real. That's different. I never, I never like, thought of that. That never even came on I think mind. the contrast and really the cute. vibe would give. Yeah. Period. That's cute. Now, you mentioned Meek Mill, your man, your man, your man. Yeah. Is that your celebrity crush? Yeah, it's like for years. Oh. I love me. And it's like, I love him. Like, that is my man, my man. But, like, he's really, like, <laughs> inspirational. Like, seeing, like, from when he f first started and, like, now, all he's mm -hmm. been through. Like, I really fuck with him. Like, I really love his music. I probably know, like, every Meek song. And that he has a lot of music. Yeah. What's your favorite Meek album? Not mixtape album. I feel like um, dreams and nightmares too. Okay. Yeah. I I feel like all of them though. Like I love all of them. I love that. For I you. know every song. <laughs> like, so you yeah. know, an artist is really a fave when you just can't even decide. Yeah, like I always get that question, like, "Oh, what's your favorite Meek song?" Like, and I really be stuck because, like. I I got mad favorite Meek songs like, <laughs> so it's like now I wouldn't be me if I didn't revert back to the other part of my question, okay. which referred to the crush. Mm -hmm. Now Miss Breezy Lynn, Captain of the Bad Bitches, I know them DMs must be ringing right now. What is it giving? Like, are you single? Let's start there. It's giving like I don't want to be your girl. Ooh. Nah, for right now, I just I'm chilling right now. I'm working. I'm okay. focused. I'm trying not to get distracted because you know these niggas be distracting. Mm -hmm. And when you fall in love, that should just be too crazy. And I refuse to 
I refuse. What does Breezy Lynn look like in love? But you be like, when you got a mommy and mommy and mommy in. What that give? Like, obsessed. And with me, it's like, <laughs> with me, I'm so like, I got so much pride. It's like. Mm, that's that fire sign thing. I got All so y'all fire pride, signs like so that. So, shit be like, it be getting to me a little bit more. Because like, mm. damn, I'm not going to say nothing to this nigga. But you really blowing my shit. Like, mm. So, I just, I don't know. I got to, I feel like I got to tap into myself a little more. Before I really like take somebody serious right now, I'm just chilling. You know, okay. I'm doing little days here and there, but right. I'm not taking a white serious for real. Have the industry niggas been in the DM? Oh, not the look down. Um, not the move the hair. Some of them, but you know, would you do that? Huh? You would do the industry thing? Would I? Mm-hmm. It depends. Nah, I, don't, I mean, that should be looking fun. I ain't gonna lie. It does, but I feel like it probably has extreme highs and extreme lows. And judging from your answers from uh, What Would Bad Bitches Do, Mm -hmm. I just don't know if you really, like, into what they into. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the thing. So, I don't Like, what you going to do if you log in the shade room and see your man with somebody else? (laughs) This is a couple of those. See, I'm not... I don't know. Whew. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's that's heavy. (laughs) Look how she imagined in and out. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to paint the image, but I don't know. I mean, I would have to see like what the vibe, what the vibe be like. Okay, so if the vibe right. But even these niggas be vibing and still be like, in shit, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Hello. Now, what has been your favorite part of this entire journey getting to where you are now? I feel like hitting the big stages mm. and like meeting a bunch of new people. I love meeting new people. Cause you know, before you like before you meet them, you have this like interpretation on them or how, on how they already are. Yeah. So it's like you meet people and they're like the complete opposite of what you thought they were, and that should be cool to me. So I like doing the big stages and just meeting people. I love that. First of all, you killed Summer Jam. Speaking yes. of big stages, ate Summer Jam up, and I feel like how much performing have you done? Because I think the. The way you came out on the stage and commanded it, I was like, Lola had me on um, Barclays before Summer Jam. Yeah. So that was my first big stage. Well, I did Grimace. I feel like Grimace Theater is, like, big. I did Grimace Theater with Shawnee Ben Laden at Izzy Banks. Mm -hmm. I did Barclays with Lola, Summer Jam with Lola. So those are, like, three big, like, real big stages. So it's, like... I don't know. It becoming natural to me. Like I love vibe, that. I think the, the performance is another place you see your growth. And I feel like I probably be more nervous, like with small crowds than big crowds, because small crowds they like looking you dead into your soul. That's the big true. stages, you know, you can't see everybody looking at you for real. Mm-hmm. But them small crowds, they be like staring into your soul. I don't like that. I know you wear glasses. You wear your contact. Well, do you have contacts? Yeah. You wear contacts on stage. Yeah. Mm. My contact is like my, my other eyes now. Not respectfully. I don't really wear my glasses no more. When I first started performing, I used to dance. And when I first started performing, I would take out my contacts. And I performed. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So I couldn't see nobody's eyes. I couldn't see nobody's faces. It's just, I don't know. I just don't even be looking to the crowd. I just be Period. Just doing my shit. Period. And it's only up from here. Yes. So let us know what we have to look forward to from Breezy Lane. Hmm, look for some more singles, you know. Oh, dropping a couple bombs. Um, EP coming soon. I can't okay. wait. I'm gonna give the girls what they need. Um, yeah, I'm loading up, y'all. So stay tuned. Follow my my YouTube. You know. Let everybody know where they can find you. A breezy Lynn on official Breezy Lynn on Instagram, YouTube Breezy Lynn, Twitter Breezy Lynn, TikTok official Breezy Lynn. Period. That's Breezy Lynn, y'all. Just talking to town, and that's all right. <laughs>